This is Sydney, Victoria, the federal riding at the northern part of Unamagi, known in English as Cape Breton. Sydney, Victoria is home to two of the larger Mi'kmaq communities, Membertu and Eskazoni. Both communities have candidates running in this fall's SNAP election. New Democrat Jeff Ward is a general manager of the Membertu Heritage Park. He has 10 years of First Nations policing and a lifetime of sharing Mi'kmaq teachings and knowledge. Ward says he will represent everyone. I'm not running as a Mi'kmaq candidate. I'm running because I want to be, I don't want to, I'm not running because I want to be a, a Mi'kmaq MP. I want to run because I want to be the MP for Cape Breton, for Unamagi Cape Breton. Liberal Jaime Baptiste of Escazoni First Nation made history in the last election. He was the first Mi'kmaq elected to the House of Commons. In an interview with the CBC last week, Baptiste said, If we split the Mi'kmaq vote and the Conservatives get in, he's going to have to explain to the Mi'kmaq nation why he decided that he wanted to be the Mi'kmaq MP as opposed to me. Baptiste did not respond to multiple interview requests. Ward had this response. To me, I'm very disappointed that, uh, that other people or anybody would be resort to a fear tactic, especially a fear tactic in the Mi'kmaq community. You know, there's, there's so much um, history of our people being oppressed. The two Mi'kmaq candidates are up against conservative Eddie Orrell. He is a formal provincial MLA. He ran in the last federal election, coming a very close second to Baptiste. Oral's campaign team said he was not available for comment. Voters will decide September 20th who they will send to Ottawa. Angel Moore, APTN National News, Chibuktuk, also known as Halifax.